It's here tonight at 10. With the latest Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade, many people question whether other rights not specifically mentioned in the Constitution could also be at risk. 2 News reporter Caroline Morris is live in the studio after talking to experts about what could come next. I spoke with two different law and political experts who share different opinions whether other rights could be at risk of being overturned or not. Now, either way, they expect a higher voter turnout this November. It's very hard to predict what this court is going to do because this court isn't doing what prior courts in the past have done. Prior conservatives would not have simply just thrown Roe versus Wade out the window. They would have tried to work with it a little, a little bit, like John Roberts wanted to work with it. With the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, many are questioning whether other rights will be turned over to the states. After Justice Clarence Thomas mentioned reconsidering Griswold v. Connecticut, Lawrence v. Texas, and Obergefell v. Hodges, Cedarville University professor Mark Clausen believes those rights are here to stay. I really don't think the court uh, is in the mood to go along with that. Uh, those, those cases are fairly well established by now, especially contraception. That's Griswold versus Connecticut way back in the 1960s. So um, they're not going to do anything with that. I doubt they're going to do anything with the, the uh, Obergefell case. On the other hand, Wright State Professor Dr. Sean Wilson believes the Supreme Court will take a second look at many historic rulings. There's nothing that is off the table. I mean, I could imagine uh, a generation from now, somebody wanting to overturn Marbury versus Madison. Once you start throwing out these huge, huge foundational precedents, anything could happen. Whether Ohioans agree with the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, Dr. Clausen believes we may see a significant increase in voters come November. Uh, to anybody who's already decided in their minds whether they support abortion or not, uh, other people say, look, since the two parties are going to make a big deal of it, which I think they will, they may sway some voters, especially those in the middle who are not quite sure yet. And Ohio's Attorney General Dave Yost announced the state's heartbeat bill is now the law. Heartbeat bill bans abortions in Ohio after the first fetal heartbeat is detected as early as six weeks into pregnancy. Live studio, Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.